Hello, and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can detect and enforce your naming conventions in Adverity using the Smart Naming Conventions Enrichment. But first, what is the Smart Naming Conventions Enrichment and how does it work? Adverity Smart Naming Convention Enrichment detects your naming conventions based on patterns in your data. If any data doesn't comply with these patterns, it notifies you about inconsistencies. For example, let's say your campaign name for a beauty brand always consists of a country code, a classification, a body part, and a product with a hyphen as a delimiter in this order. FR, product, hair, mask. Looking at the table, we can see that not all our data complies with these standards. In row two, for example, the body part is missing. The Smart Naming Convention Enrichment can detect these anomalies. It splits the components of the naming convention into multiple columns based on the delimiter you set and notifies you about missing components and errors. This helps to track adherence to your naming conventions and ensure high data quality. In this example, we want to ensure that our campaign name always consists of a country code, a classification, a body part, a product, and a product description. We want Smart Naming Convention to check this Google Sheets dataset for any values that don't comply with the rules we set and to notify us about them. Such inconsistencies could be different delimiters, missing elements, or typos. To set this up, First, head over to the Enrichments page, click Create Enrichment, and then click Smart Naming Convention. Next, select the data stream that you want to apply this enrichment to. Selecting a data stream type will assign this enrichment to all your data streams of that type. So all of your Google Sheets data streams, if you have multiple Google Sheets data streams, for example. In this case, we are just going to add it to our Google Sheets data stream and then click Next. Next, in the New Column field, enter a name for the column that you want to use the Smart Naming Convention Enrichment on. In this case, we'll select the column Campaign Name and click Next to the right. Now we need to select at least four values that are compliant with our naming convention in order for Adverity to auto-detect a pattern. We could also select all, but this could include potential errors. So we'll select four campaign names that we know comply with our naming convention then we hit next. Now we can check the rules that have been detected by the Smart Naming Convention Enrichment. In the Delimiter section, choose the delimiter that has been used to break up the campaign name into sections. In this example, the hyphen is the delimiter that separates the name components. It has been detected automatically. You need to select at least one delimiter to proceed. A list of supported delimiters can be found in the Adverity documentation. In the Rules Detected section, you can see which rules have been automatically detected in your dataset. For example, Column 1 contains the first part of our campaign name, the country code. To adjust the settings, hit Edit to the right. First, we can select a data type. This could be letters, characters, numbers, or dates. Selecting predefined values allows you to specify values that you want to allow in that column. Any value can be selected if there is no need to specify. In this example, our campaign is running in France, Switzerland, and Germany. No other country code should be allowed. So we select predefined values and enter FR, CH, and DE. Next, we select the search type. If you select exactly matches, only values that exactly match the chosen data type are allowed in the column. If you select contains, the value only has to contain the specified values in order to pass. We'll select exactly matches because we want our country codes to match the specified criteria perfectly and hit apply. Column two contains our classification. This can either be generic or exclusive in our example. So we select predefined values again and enter generic and exclusive and hit apply. Column three needs to be adjusted as well because four letters is not sufficient a criteria to determine whether the value is correct or incorrect. 
we'll go to edit and enter body, hair, and face as the only values we want to accept in our data set and hit apply. We can see that the rule description in the overview changes as well. Column four contains our product. In our example, this can be conditioner, mask, or cream. We go to edit, select predefined values, and enter our product names. If you have a long list of values that you want to accept, you can copy up to 1,000 values into the predefined values field from an Excel or Google Sheets file. Column five contains our product description. This is more flexible than the previous fields and can contain all types of values. So we don't want to specify an exact term or certain number of letters. We go to edit and select any value. Then we click apply. In the split preview, you can preview the new columns that will be added to your data extract using the delimiters and rules enabled in the sections above. Once you're happy, click next. Now we need to define a name for each component of our naming convention. In our case, we want to name them country code, classification, body part, product, and product description. Then we click next. Now it's time to choose what Adverity should do if the source column contains a value that your smart naming convention enrichment cannot process in any way. This can happen if a value does not contain any delimiters, for example. If we select email, an email telling you which field caused the error will be sent to the email address in your data stream notification settings. If we select continue processing, data fetches will continue despite the error. We also have the option to add another column to the data set, telling us whether the naming convention complies to our standards or not. In this example, we want our data to be processed despite the error and add a new column. Then we hit next. In receive warnings, we can select what Adverity should do if the source column contains a value that is not fully consistent with the rules of your smart naming convention enrichment, but Adverity can still try to process it. For example, this can happen if only one element of the value in the source column is missing. Select, I want to be informed in the following cases to choose the situations in which you want to be informed. Select, send email to receive an email notification. Select, raise warning if you want to be notified about the inconsistent values with a warning message in the data stream overview. In this example, we'll select the default settings and click next. Then, Give your enrichment a name and click next to save it. Now we can see a detailed summary of the rules we've just set. Once you're happy with the configuration, click create. By navigating to our Google Sheets data stream, we can now see our new enrichment has already been assigned. To apply it, we need to either run a manual fetch or refetch our last data fetch. If you have scheduling set up, you can also wait until the next scheduled data fetch. Now our data has been refetched, we can see a warning in our data stream overview. Let's check our data extract for anomalies. We can see that Adverity has added one column for every part of our naming convention and named them accordingly. Also, it added three more columns to our data set. The column SNC Past shows where our naming convention complies with our standards. The column SNC Failed shows the items in the row that do not follow the naming conventions. The column SNC status shows whether a row is compliant with our data standards or not. This information helps us to spot errors fast and is useful for compliance statistics. If all rules are set correctly, the feature even detects which specific part of the naming convention is missing. For example, DE generic hair natural is missing the product name. Adverity detected this anomaly and filled every field with the correct term while leaving the product name column empty. Thanks for watching. For more information on the Smart Naming Conventions enrichment or any other enrichments, be sure to check out the Adverity documentation.